make the character rotate in too unnatural of a way. Uh, and so uh, I'll give you an example of what that would be. So for example, you wouldn't want to rotate his knee out like that. That, that would be very painful. Um, but we want to fit it inside the dots again, and this looks pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, we can go over into this window and we can roll thing, uh, rotate things around, and double check how we're matching up. Um, things are not looking too bad. Yes, they're looking okay. I'm not liking the position of the heel dot, so I'm going to go back up, and I'm going to select on this again, and I'm going to rotate the whole leg in just a bit. There we go just a little bit more. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just a little bit more. Okay. I actually want to do that to there like it is on the other side. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the ankle and I want to roll it out just a bit. And you'll see, there we go, that's better. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the other side. And I'm going to roll this out just a bit. Okay. And again, we can select this window and we can see how that's fitting. It's looking quite nice at this point. Okay. That's good. That's quite good. Okay. So now we have to deal with our arms. Okay. So now we, we notice that um, we'll have to do the same thing. We can select the shoulder, we can rotate the whole arm up a bit. Same thing on the other side, just a bit like so. Okay, now um, we want to look kind of top down and we can see that in this view as well. Um, I'm not liking how this wrist is lined up here, so I'm going to rotate the arm a bit. And I want to make sure that the forearm is there. And that's not looking too bad. Okay. Same thing on the other side. I want, oh, there we go. Something like that. And you'll notice that it looks good from the top down but it doesn't look good from, from this angle. And let's pan this back down so that we can kind of see from the side here. And then we can zoom this in and kind of pan in a bit. And I'm not totally happy with this. I'm gonna pull that just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna rotate around and I'm noticing that I'm quite off. Okay, so I'm going to select the wrist and I'm going to roll the wrist up a bit and try to make that fit a little better. Okay. And I'm going to go back to my shoulder. And you, you, you can kind of see, you, you can spend all day doing this. Um, a little bit up higher. There we go. That's looking a little better. Okay, I'm gonna get my elbow, and you wanna you wanna take care to try to get this as close as you can. And you have quite a bit of freedom into what you can do. Okay, that that's looking pretty good on that side. I'm gonna work on the other side a little bit more, and then we'll see how it lines up. Okay, so I'm gonna. Select the, the elbow, and I want to raise it up just a bit. And then I want to select the wrist, and I want to roll it back just, there we go. Okay, I like that. Okay, that's good. So we'll double click here, and we can actually um, see that our character's lined up fairly good. Now, one other thing, and we can, we can see this uh, by zooming out, we'll see that the character is a little skinny. So what we can do is we can um, control, control, control select these three, and then we can scale them. 
and we can scale forward a little bit and we can scale let's zoom this back and let's zoom this in a bit and it looks side to side we're okay so let's just go with that okay so let's uh, turn off our scale tool and unselect everything by double clicking and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the navigator window okay so now that we we have our actor lined up inside of our dots fairly nicely we're going to make a new marker set so we click on this marker set button in the navigator window we click create and that'll put some uh, circles with numbers in them on the on the actor in this actor settings tab okay so now what we have to do is we have to tell this which markers to use you can do it by dragging the marker from the window down into here but I find it easier to use this uh, scene navigator over here and to do this we we can open up the scene and open up the C3D optical which is our markers and we can just uh, control select the ones we want and we can drag them over into onto the number okay so I want the hips I'm going to define the hips you'll see I just drag those over put them on the hips oh and I want to put the sacral dot there as well okay front of the shoulder left back of the shoulder I'm going to put that here same on the other side okay I'm going to define the chest as C7 chest sternum T10 drag that onto the chest the head is going to be left okay that's going to be there okay so the left elbow and the left arm I'm going to put there left wrist left wrist medial uh, and left forearm I'm going to put here and we're just going to have one finger dot and that's going to go there we're not going to do any hand animation in this class we may do that in a, in a more advanced class okay I'm going to do the same thing on the other side though I'm going to uh, wrist wrist medial forearm and I'm going to put finger here Okay, I'm going to move down to the leg, left knee, left femur, I'm going to put that here, left ankle, left tibia, I'm going to put that here, okay, left toe, MT5, MT1, and heel, I'm going to put here, again, we'll do the toes in the program, right knee, right femur, okay, right ankle, right tibia, and here, and the four foot dots I'm going to put here. Okay, so now we have all our dots allocated to what they're going to drive on the actor. Okay. So what we want to do is now we can actually turn on the x-ray mode and you'll kind of get an idea of uh, in, the, in the window that we're in um, here. I actually have to turn x-ray on here and I actually don't want x-ray on here. I want that normal. Okay. So now kind of over here you can get an idea of how this actor is going to snap up once I tell it to activate. And you'll see it did pretty good because it, it's defining a bone chain down and it has some some rules that it uses for human anatomy and it looks it looks pretty good it didn't move too much you'll notice if you didn't do it right it'll break everything okay um, you might want to pay attention to your toes and see yeah they look pretty good okay good good alright so that's good now what we want to do is we want to say go back to our, our uh, navigator window our actor settings tab and we want to say marker set and we want to export this now I've already done this a couple of times so I'm just gonna call this marker set for Brian 3 you can name it what you like and we want to save this uh, generally in our same directory although if you can save it somewhere else if you'd like um, okay now what we want to do is we want to save this file we can save as um, call this uh, tpose I'm gonna call this tpose motion builder 3 and I'm uh, just going to leave all the defaults selected for now. We'll deal with changing those later. Um, and that's pretty good. Okay, so now um, what we can do is we can actually take, make a new take here. Take, uh, say, no. Oops, what did I do? Um, okay, let, let's, let's go to file and make a completely new file. <clears throat> this is easier anyway okay so uh, say don't save because I don't want to do what I just did okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to go back to import 